if you plan to storm Area 51 on the 20th September 2019 and you happen to have a pendulum, in this video I'll show you a couple ideas how you can use it to uh, make the most of this experience and um, change the energies of Area 51 for the better of uh, all humankind. I wonder what would happen if this one million people use one million pendulums and focus at the same time energy of sending all the goodness, all the positivity, all the blessings to the base and all the beings in it. And what would happen? Hello, I'm Serviusz and in this channel I share with you practical tips and tools you can use to improve your wellness. So if you are new here, please consider subscribing. Also, check out my website for more information, tips and all sorts of interesting stuff. You can find link in the video description below. Your pendulum is a powerful tool and you can use it for creating good, changing energies, sending uh, energies to people, changing energies of the places. So we can use the power of our pendulum to change the energy in the whole Area 51. And we can also use the pendulum to change the vibration and the consciousness, or at least influence the consciousness of all people who are there, who work there and who are in charge over there on this facility. And uh, what only we need to do is just to use the pendulum and our focus intention to create the changes we want. And if one million people will do this at the same time, that's a powerful thought form we will create. So there is this um, chap on the internet who gave an idea that um, people uh, will go and storm Area 51 and um, they cannot uh, shoot everyone. Um, so my thoughts about this is like this. First of all, I don't encourage anyone to storm any military facility because first of all, it's uh, illegal. Second of all, it's dangerous. And, um, and you're just risking your life and going to jail and God knows what else um, they can do uh, to you and um, to your future. So that's not a good idea for storming the facility of a military base. But I strongly support the idea of um, going somewhere close to that um, base and uh, just in peaceful way express um, our wishes as a community, as a society and to um, disclose the information about um, aliens and um, alien um, crafts um, apparently kept in that base and, uh, and other in military base all over the world because it's not just Americans who've got this uh, uh, secret base. I'm sure the Russians and Chinese and other um, uh, and other countries they have uh, also secret bases where they keep um, um, top secret information about um, aliens and their presence on Earth, either in the past life or in ancient aliens or maybe even in, in the current times as well. So the idea is like this: um, if you intend to go to um, the Area 51. Um, place near nearby and let's say um, imagine there is like a as they say they are going to be more than one million people mm, pledged um, the idea to to go there and um, just uh, by their presence um, express their mm, wish to to have some in more information about what's going on with the secret space space program and uh, uh, with uh, the military base and what they what they know about aliens and alien crafts recover let's say after Roswell so what we can do if we have a pendulum so imagine one million people has a pendulum with them you can have any pendulum you like you can have this Isis if you have but you can either even make a small pendulum out of the nut on the piece of string that doesn't really matter the pendulum can be used as a tool to focus our energy. And if one million people focus energy at the same time on the same topic, that's a great power. That's a great spiritual power. It's, I'm not talking about power like a military power, I'm talking about spiritual power. So imagine if uh, all these million people in one place being in a close, um, close uh, vicinity to that uh, military base, 
they send some positive energies to all the people who and all the beings not just the people because we want to send all the good positive energies to every being uh, on that base so not only the humans but you know uh, allegedly there are some um, alien entities over there yes it is so we want to send their our positive energies our positive thoughts and feelings also to them so they can um, feel that they are safe to disclose that we are not hating them we are not afraid of them but we are welcoming them in our society and we are open for um, conscious communication so we can be in peace and uh, in harmony live together uh, as uh, you know from star trek movies there are apparently lots of um, civilization in our galaxy and we want the same we want to live like in a star trek in peaceful cooperation with all other alien races so how we can use um, the pendulums so imagine that one million people takes the pendulum in their hands and at the same time let's say one person gives command and they focus their energy at the same mental command so for instance we can do something like this rise the consciousness of all the beings in this area 51 military base underground on top of the ground anywhere in this area rise their consciousness to the highest most appropriate level for everyone involved for the highest good of all concerned including all humanity on planet earth Another command we can use is increase the amount of unconditional love in this base, on all level of this base, above ground and underground, to the highest, most appropriate level for everyone concerned. Another pendulum command we can use. Raise the consciousness of all the military staff, especially the chief officers, commanders of this base, to the level that they are happy to freely disclose the information to the public about the presence of alien beings on planet Earth in a safe and positive way for the highest good of all and I, I strongly recommend to send all positive energies not negativity but positivity because what we want um, to support all these people uh, who work in this base to have more open heart more open mind so they can talk freely I'm sure you know imagine if you work in this facility as a soldier and or another technician and um, you know about aliens but you are not allowed to tell that's that's very you know like big something in yourself like a block which mm, it's it's um, in my manifest in some kind of um, health even problems or family problems because you you are blocked so i'm sure all these people would be more than happy to share this information if they were allowed to do it but of course they are kept um, by the military rules that you know uh, secrecy they are sworn to secrecy so that's obvious that uh, without the permission from the superiors they are not allowed to say anything and uh, of course we have to um, understand uh, this and acknowledge that this is the way the military works but um, I wonder what would happen if this one million people use one million pendulums and focus at the same time energy of sending all the goodness all the positivity all the blessings to the base and all the beings in it and what would happen because we don't want any conflict 
What we want is truth and peaceful cooperation between our races and another alien races, isn't it? And we don't want to fight against our own military. By the way, you know, um, I'm Polish, so I will definitely not go there because um, I wouldn't even get a visa to United States to to take part in such an um, extraordinary event. But uh, I strongly suggest the idea uh, that in democratic country like United States, people can legally express their you know, wishes, their feelings in a public way, of course, providing they, they do it according to all the laws and regulations in the uh, community, yes? So, you know, I don't suggest uh, that um, you violate any laws because um, the law will get you, you know? The law enforcement will get um, to the people who break the law and they will have to suffer the consequences. So it's always good to know what you can do safely and what you can't do. But in my opinion, um, I mean, I hope that if this event will take place, that it will be peaceful and my thoughts and energies will be all with all the people who are over there on the 20th of uh, September. And I will send uh, all the light and blessing to them. So whatever will happen, may it be in peace and harmony and for the highest good of all the humanity. Uh, all the people who um, may be there and express their wishes and also all the people on the base who will keep the secrecy of the base and all the beings over there who um, hopefully will see uh, that we are here, humans, and um, we are ready for the conscious contact with another races and we are ready for disclosure. So I'm pretty sure um, the military base is very well secured and uh, no one will be able to uh, storm it. Um, but um, they can also uh, use all sorts of um, probably not, uh, not very well known techniques like you know the, the voice of God um, device which can influence people's thinking. Um, and they, I'm sure they have uh, much more uh, equipment available which I'm not aware of. So, um, any kind of um, threat to the military base will be um, uh, dealt with with uh, appropriate measures. So I strongly recommend uh, be safe. Even if you are not planning to <laughs> storm Area 51 on the 20th September 2019, I strongly suggest use a pendulum at your own home and send the energy um, to the universe, to all the people uh, on Earth to raise their consciousness about the presence of alien beings on our planet, in our solar system and in our galaxy. So all the people are able to receive this information now clearly without any blocks, without any secrets If you are in America and you are planning to take part in this uh, Storm Maria 51 um, event on the 20th of September 2019, I'm going to send you now the energy to protect you and um, keep your vibrations um, high so you are less um, prone to any negative forces, any negative thoughts or any negative um, um, influences uh, either from military or maybe not beneficial alien beings. So you will be protected in your mind and your aura will be protected from any negativity. So you can stand your ground, be assertive and be safe, of course, um, um, not breaking any law and expressing uh, your wish for the truth, to know the truth. So here I am sending you this energy to keep you safe. I'm sending now energies to whoever is planning to take part in the Aria, Storm Aria 51 event on the 20th of September 2019. I send you energies to keep you 
safe on all levels of your being. So you can shine your light the strongest. So no negativity, no negative forces and thought forms can penetrate your energy shield. And you are safe and protected. And you are radiant, beautiful human being who express your wish to know the truth in peaceful, harmonious ways, obeying the laws, but also expressing your truth, standing your ground according to all the laws and regulations you have to obey as a human on earth. So I send love and light and blessings to all the peoples, all the participants in the Storm Area 51 event on the 20th of September 2019 for the purpose of so it is peaceful manifestation of our wish for disclosure our wish to know the truth about the presence of alien beings on earth in our solar system and in our galaxy we all seen all those films star trek stargate and others and we've been shown that there are many many alien races in the universe we are not alone unconsciously we all know that but officially we don't and now it's time to officially disclose this information to the public in the peaceful way for the highest good of all humanity so we can create a peaceful coexistence with all the other aliens and alien races on earth and in the universe we want peace we wish peace and we send peace to all the people, all the beings in Area 51 and taking part in the Storm Area 51 event in the most appropriate way and for our highest good. I send love, light and blessing. Be safe, be well. And be on the side of good and be on the side of peace. May peace and harmony fill your being. And when the light of God shine through you on all the people around you, and that place where you are for the highest good may peace we be with all the people who take part in the stomaria 51 event on the 20th of September 2019 and may the peaceful solution come out of this event for the highest good of all people on earth and remember use your pendulum to make peace no war make peace harmony and increase the positive vibrations to any place and to any people you encounter during your experience in the Storm Area 51 event on the 20th of September 2019. So my last advice is don't, don't storm the base, don't storm the Area 51, but send all the good energy you can to all those peoples and all the beings on that base so they can feel the love 
and they can increase and rise their consciousness to the level that they can safely be able to share the truth they kept secret over there with us, with all of us, all the humanity. Have a look at this video here. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and check out also my website for more information, tips and also all sorts of interesting stuff. You can find link in the video description below.